How y'all doing, Cowboys Nation? Paul Ryan back at it again. Guys, I'm just reading a story that I've, you know, noticed that it came out a couple of days ago. I didn't really pay any attention to it, but I'm starting to see other con content creators, co Cowboys content creators, better yet, talking about this. And the story is Mike McCarthy being fed up with Jerry Jones undermining him. And I decided to read the article because when I first saw it, I'm like, I don't know, it just seemed like a big nothing burger to me, to be totally honest. But seeing other people talk about it, I said, well, at least read something about it just to see what, what's being said. And I read, the article I read was by somebody from Sports Illustrated. Of course, I will have the link to the article in the description. But it was talking about how he spoke with somebody close to Mike McCarthy, Cowboys personnel, former personnel, I can't remember, saying that McCarthy was getting fed up with Jerry Jones because, one... This is the final year of his contract. He didn't get another year. And two, I guess, not really feeling like he's being put in a position to succeed with the Cowboys' lack of activity the last couple of years. And, you know, this year, I guess you could kind of say that, but I, I do think I, I don't disagree with Jerry Jones kind of being a prove year for Mike McCarthy and even Dak Prescott. Now, you know, if you've been listening to the channel, excuse me, you've been listening to the podcast, you've been following this channel for a long time, you know how I feel about Dak Prescott, especially, you know, this offseason, I've talked a lot about how I feel about Dak Prescott, so I don't need to go get into that again. But as far as Mike McCarthy goes, I'm a big fan of Mike McCarthy. But since he's been here, if you think about the regular season performances cannot be argued, right? And even his first year here after Dak Dak Prescott went down the season that he was able to have with that team worst defense of all time or one of the worst defenses of all time was one of the better seasons that I've seen from a Cowboys head coach just because of the situation he was put in now you know I'm not going to go into a, a Jason Garrett uh, a tear down if you will you know what we already know what Jason Garrett what was like as a head coach so I don't have to get into that but that was that first year, even as bad as it was, made me a believer in Mike McCarthy. And then, we, of course, after that, we see three consecutive 12 1 seasons. However, in the playoffs, we had one really bad first round exit at home against the San Francisco 49ers. And then the second year, we saw the Cowboys win the game and Tampa Bay on the road, but then again lose to the 49ers. And then in the, his fourth year, third year in the playoffs, an absolutely embarrassing at home loss to the Green Bay Packers, the first ever uh, team to lose to a seven seed. Now, I mean, when you think about that, man, I can't really disagree with Jerry Jones not wanting to give McCarthy another year, right? As much as he's probably earned it, I think when you, you know, playoff success speaks a lot more than regular season success. Now, how's, have Jerry and Steven always given uh, Mike McCarthy the best teams? No, but. You know, in 2022, they go out and they get Brandon Cooks and Stephon Gilmore. And we saw, again, we saw the team perform last year, albeit they had a rough first five weeks. But after the offense started clicking, we saw them kind of return to dominance. Dak Prescott being an, a, a, playing at an MVP caliber level. We got embarrassed in the playoffs, man, at home. You just can't, you can't let that happen. So um, I don't really think Jerry Jones has been undermining him. He hasn't always helped McCarthy out. So I can see why McCarthy would be upset about that but to say he's been undermined i don't agree with that at all um but that's just my personal opinion and as far as cowboys news goes that's all i have again it's just a lot of the america's sweethearts going on right, right now of course there's not a lot of football things going on especially with the nba finals just ending and uh training camp not starting till july so it's going to be kind of slow so i do apologize for not having anything really that interesting to talk about but let me know what you guys think do you think mccarthy has a right to be upset do you feel that excuse me do you think that jerry jones has been undermining mike mccarthy again i don't but i love to hear what you guys think and as always man i appreciate everyone who tunes into the channel and has been following along with the channel and supports the podcast i hope everybody had a good weekend i'm paul ryan i'll see you guys tomorrow peace